So it's the last day of our stay here at the hotel for the Disney 100 exhibition and let's have a look at some of the merch. So first of all, we were lucky enough to get the VIP tickets. So you do get all of these included as part of that package. So you obviously get your VIP pass as well, which you get to keep and the Disney 100 London lanyard as well, all included in the price. You also got this um, drinks holder, which is like this weird neoprene thing. Uh, and it did come with a drink, which obviously has been consumed. Um, we also, more importantly for me, got a Disney 100 exhibition pin, which was the main thing really for me as a pin collector. I definitely wanted to, to get that. So I was really happy that that was included as well. And in addition, we also got given um, these posters from Disney Wish, uh, which admittedly I have not seen and know nothing about, but now I've got an excuse to see it. So there we go. Those are the bits that are included, but I did also get a few extra things as well as that. And I actually had quite a good selection, I thought, of, of mugs available to buy. And I got this one of the Disney 100 exhibition. Can't really see in the light particularly well, but you've got all of the characters there sort of in gloss uh, on top of the matte black background. Just really, really liked that. They had a few different designs. Uh, they had some that were a lot more sort of simple, just like a, a blue mug with the text written on it. But I really liked this, uh, this style and this design. So yeah, definitely had to get that. Really don't need any more Disney mugs, but I just really, really liked it. So as I was there, had to get it. There's also a few photo opportunities as you go around and they've got photographers there. So a bit like uh, photo pass if you're in the park. So we've got a picture there. So that's me and Pippa and a uh, nice little sort of collectible. If memory serves, I think Pippa went for the key ring and fridge magnet options. I just went for the printed photo just as a nice little collectible and a bit of a keepsake of the day. So really, really liked that as well. My favourite thing though, and definitely the most expensive thing, was a Disney 100 exhibition hoodie. It kind of occurred to me I don't really have any Disney hoodies. They're all spirit jerseys and sweatshirts. So I was in the lookout for one, or on the lookout for one, uh, and I saw this and just really, really liked it. It's got this weird silvery reflective colour to it, which is really, really cool. And then up the sleeves you've got the same colouring but with all different characters, including some Star Wars characters. You've got Chewie there, uh, and there's Marvel characters as well. You've got Spider-Man, and some decent Pixar things as well, like Coco, Woody, and blah, 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 as well as you've got Mickey on the sleeve as well. And then Tinkerbell up on the hood. So yeah, I was really, really happy with that. Definitely glad to get it. And that's basically all of the things that I managed to get. So there we go. Definitely came away with more than I expected to. So I'm really, really happy with everything that's here. Obviously the hoodie, the mug and the pin definitely. Got a nice photo as well as a good memento and then all of the freebies that came with the VIP ticket. So all in all, not too bad. I, it's just as expensive as you'd expect with Disney stuff. I think the hoodie was about £60. Um, the mug, I'm not 100% sure now. Looking back on it, it's probably less than 20 um, And obviously all of those bits up there were free with the VIP ticket, which off the top of my head was like an extra 15 20 pounds i think per ticket um so although you kind of get freebies they're not really free um but you do also get the luxury of being able to go in at different times you don't really have a slot time um like you do with a standard ticket so it's a little bit more flexible um so there we go so that's everything that i managed to come away with so we've now checked out of holiday inn express we're going to head over to our next day which is the crown plaza hotel
Crown Plaza Hotel is just down the road, it's really not far, so once we get in I'll do a, another room tour for you. So here we are now, this is the Crown Plaza Hotel, so we're going to get checked in and then I'll show you around the room. So here we go, we have now checked into the Crown Plaza Hotel and this is the room. Now this is more expensive than the hotel that I was at before, the Holiday Inn Express. Um, there's not a lot in it. I do think these rooms are just a little bit of an upgrade, to be honest. So that's obviously what you're, you're paying for there, but it's very nice. It's got a desk, as you can see. I'm staying with a friend here, so we've got the two double beds. It's very, very comfortable. And uh, there seems to be a lot of space in here as well. Comfy chair. The view is just of the other side of the hotel, basically. So there we go. That is awesome. I'll just go and check over we've got over here i've already had a quick look at this but we've got the tea and coffee making facilities the best thing that we need including chocolate biscuits again that is an upgrade for what i had before and not just tea and coffee but hot chocolate as well and even chocolates on the cups not the pillows but still so again it's just a little bit extra than what you get at the holiday inn express although having said that also got some water as well Holiday Inn Express is cheaper, but breakfast is included. Whereas here, it's not included, and it's about £20. I think you get a discount if you're an IHG member, um, but it's only like £5 off, I think, so it's not like a massive amount that you're saving. And uh, yeah, if you stay at the other hotel, which is cheaper, you get the whole breakfast in included anyway. So there's an argument, pros and cons for each. We've got the bathroom. Oh, get my lights right. Here we go. Very similar to the other one. Got the sink over there. That's me, hi. I think this bathroom's actually a little bit smaller than the one I've just come from. Very nice though, it's all very nice. Got a proper bathtub. The other one didn't have a bathtub. The other one was just a walk-in shower, so a little bit different there. All sorts of different soaps and things to have a wash with. But yeah, it's all very, very clean. Only a couple of extra towels, might need some more of those. And there we go. But everything that you're going to need. Just trying to see, is there... Hello again. I don't actually know if there's a hairdryer anywhere. Not that I particularly need one, but just for comparison's sake, the other room did have a hairdryer. I'm not seeing one unless I'm missing it. There's some big wardrobes here though, which you didn't get in the other one, so... I think overall this room is just slightly bigger, but that may also be because it's uh, obviously a, a room for two rather than a room for one. Although actually having said that, I found out that the room I was in before was a family room, which is why it had a big double bed and the sofa bed, which obviously I didn't need. So there we go. This is me for the next few nights while we attend Megacon Live. First time I'll be doing Megacon and really excited, looking forward to it. So there, there we go.